My first convention ever, I think, was MythCon 4. MythCon? MythCon in Goleta, which is right outside of Santa Barbara, California. I think I was 12. You were 12, and you went to a MythCon. I did. So you're a Tolkien fan. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah. I can't believe my parents let me leave. <laughs> I was no. 100 miles away from home. Really? It's scary. It's scary. <sighs> nice. Now... I'm wearing tights. You were wearing tights. Of course I was wearing tights, man. It was MythCon. <laughs> <laughs> I was six months pregnant with my daughter. I was here at Conquest. And I was at a party in a party suite, but not able to party due to my delicate condition. And I sat down on a chair and a nice saintly gentleman engaged me in conversation who I'd never met before talking about the history of Worldcon and the Losers Parties and all these famous authors and how they get together. And after a good two and a half hour conversation, my husband came and got me and we were walking away and he said, oh my god, how long have you been talking to him? I was like, oh, he's so nice. A couple hours. And, you know, you ask about the baby and he's like, you know, is this George R. R. Martin? I was like, I had no clue. And I just thought it was so Happy. And, and I have read his books, but it just never clicked. Mm. He was very approachable and very sociable. So for me, that was my... That's a good, that's a good story. This one time at a convention. <laughs> um, okay, Teresa, you're starting this next one. Okay. If you could write a sequel to any film, what sequel would it be? Damn me. Chushin Guru. Um, I would like to rewrite the sequel to Highlander since they chose to make one. Let's redo the second movie. Um, I'm blanking. Um, the Quiet Man. Oh, good choice. And surprise audience question. What? What? What movie sequel would you write? If Cold, Cold Comfort Farm. Cold Comfort Farm Two. That that the script. BBC version. Yeah, you're right. Actually, there is a correct answer to this one. It's Tetsuo the Iron Man, because the marketing is so easy. You just replace the S with a two. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the most beautiful cat in the world? Do you have anything to say? Handsome. It's the first time I go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Harlan, which... You'll never forget that, regardless of who you are. Um, I uh, walked up on Harlan, which can always be a questionable decision. I had uh, Dragon Con, actually. It was my first Dragon Con. I was up for the International Horror Guild Award for Best Artist. I think I lose to Joel Peter Witkin that day. Mm -hmm. If you don't know who Joel Peter Witkin is, go look him up on Google if you're watching this, and you'll get your mind blown. And there's a, there's, you'll realize I had no chance that year to win the award. Uh, but I walked up on Harlan in the dealer's room and said, hey man, at some point I'd love to show you some pictures of my stuff if you got some, got some time. And he said, uh, uh, you, don't, I, uh, you don't know who I am, kid. And I said, yeah, you're Harlan. And he said, you don't know who I am. And he gives me this whole trip. Uh, and at the end of it all, after he looked at some of my stuff, he says, we're going to work together someday. And I figured he was just being sweet. And about six months later, he calls me up on a Sunday morning. He says, kid, you thought I was bullshitting, didn't you? And he said, we're going to work together. You want to do the 30th anniversary edition of Dangerous Visions. It's going to be you and Michael Whalen. Wow. So we each got to do a cover. Wow. That, that was my experience with Dangerous Visions. Awesome. Always end on a Harlan story. better stories than anybody. <laughs> 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 but yeah, always the flash, from the time I was a kid, the Flash and Plastic Man were my two favorites. 
and I always, I used to dream, I used to do the stupidest things when I was a kid. Um, and the big ones, wait no, a minute. Not at all anymore. No, um, and I would actually uh, go running around the house saying, I'm the Flash! And I had the sound, the <laughs> sound was actually the sound of the Flash running. Uh, yeah, because that's obviously the sound of me going super fast. <laughs> I have the perfect New Yorker's answer to that question. <laughs> What's that? Doctor Strange, because he has a beautiful apartment in the West Village. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Doctor Strange would be good. Actually, my friend, I actually asked that same question to someone once, and stopped for a minute and went, you know, the head says Batman, but the heart, the heart says ambush bug. Yes! And I knew he passed out. That was like, I, if, if, there's no better answer for that.